इट्स ओके टू नॉट नो बट इट्स नॉट ओके टू नॉट ट्राई विद दिस इंस्पिरेशनल कोट माई सेल्फ नंदिता डिसोजा प्रेजेंटिंग यू द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन बॉडी मूवमेंट्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड In the last video we learned about skeleton system it comprises of many bones and joints there are some additional parts of the skeleton that are not as hard as the bones and which can be bent what are these these are known as cartilage cartilage is a soft bone tissue that connects joints it is present in external parts like the ear and nose now let's see what are muscles muscles are soft tissue which has the ability to contract it is attached to bones by tendons all movement in the body is controlled by muscles our bone move by the contraction and extension of our skeletal muscles two muscles move together to move a bone when one of them contracts the bone is pulled in that direction the other muscle of the pair relaxes to move the bone in the opposite direction the relaxed muscle contracts to pull the bone towards its original position while the first relaxes a muscle can only pull it cannot push now let's study the last topic from this chapter that is gait of animals what do you mean by gait of animals gait of animals is the pattern of movement of the limbs of animals let's see the movement in earthworm earthworm move easily in hard and slippery surfaces earthworms have tiny stiff hair like projections called bristles onto their body they grab the soil with the help of these bristles earthworms first stretch and contract their muscles to move as a result they cover only a small distance with every move a slimy substance secreted by the earthworm helps it to move now let's see the movement in snail the outer skeleton of the snail the shell is made up of calcium carbonate the snail pulls the shell along as it moves the snail can even hide its head inside the shell the under surface of the muscular foot is lubricated with mucus waves of muscular contractions along the surface help a snail move mucus also reduces the risk of injury from sharp objects that is why snails can walk over sharp objects without getting hurt moving forward let's see the movement in cockroach cockroach has three pair of legs that help it to walk and two pair of wings that help it to fly a cockroach moves its legs with the help of muscles near the limbs it uses its breast muscles help it to move its wings and fly a cockroach can walk fly and even climb A cockroach can move in different terrains like sand and wired meshes because of the spines on its legs. Now, let's see movement in bird. A bird has a body best suited in flying. Its wings are actually modified forelimbs. Birds can fly easily with the help of these bony forelimbs. Birds have light and hollow bones. The breast bone hold the muscles of flight. which help them to flutter their wings the tail controls the direction of flight birds have very strong shoulder bones they don't have the urinary bladder which helps them to fly easily they can walk and perch on trees with the help of the hind limbs now we'll study about the streamlined body the shape of many objects moving through air or water is designed in such a way that the friction can be reduced between the objects and water or air the shape of the body is called streamlined body movement in fish fish has a streamlined body which helps them move fast in water fish swim with the help of their fins the tail moves from side to side and helps the fish swim in the right direction Some fish however move by bending their bodies from one side to another in quick succession which produces the thrust that helps it move forward. Let's see the movement in snake. 
Snakes move in S-shaped lobes and in a zigzag manner. They cannot move in a straight line. They have difficulties in moving on very smooth surfaces. Snakes have a long backbone and many interconnected muscles that help them to slither. Snakes can move in grass, sand and water. Snakes do not have arms or legs but even then they can climb trees. Let's take a quick recap on what we have studied. There is always movement in body even when a person is sitting or lying down. Human body is made up of bones and cartilages which provides shape to the body and protects inner organs. There are various kinds of bone joints depending on the nature of joints and direction of movement they allow. The movement of body is controlled by alternate contractions and relaxations of two sets of muscles. Earthworms move by alternate extension and contraction of the body using muscles. Snails move with the help of a muscular foot. Snakes slither on the ground by loping sideways. The body and legs of cockroaches have hard coverings forming an outer skeleton. Fish swim by forming loops alternately on two sides of the body. The birds are able to fly with the help of strong muscles and light bones. So here I wind up my lesson, the body movements. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and Kindle Kids Learning for all the upcoming videos. See you in my next video. Till then, stay home, stay safe.